Good morning, this is a little demo on um, editing fixture order by editing the group layout. What I have here is Titan version 10. I show you just a moment. Here you read in the top version 10.0, so nothing special. Um, we patch fixtures, IPX whatever, but I just use the IPX BB4 because almost everyone knows it, BB4 um, mode 5, which is four cells, each is RGB, so 12 channels in total, and we just patch, say, 6. I patch it here, up we go, and we have a little group. So far, so good. So, in order to edit the fixture order in a group, we could click Edit Times and select the group and Fixture Order. And this is the order of the master groups 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay, so, and of course, you could edit the fixture order, but now, for whatever reason, you want to change the fixture order of the cells of the subfixtures. And this goes. Um, I want to show. So at first we create a group which contains the subfixtures. So we select the master fixtures. Now on the um, keyboard we click dot enter. Now the um, subfixtures are selected. Next thing is we have to remove the master fixtures. So this is the wrong way. Yeah, so I already submitted a little uh, thing. So the correct way is differently. The correct way is select master fixtures, hit unfold. Unfold is here. Yeah, selected fixtures. Now these are only the cells. Now you have to select clear because the BB4, so the master fixtures are still in the programmer, so that's why now we hit clear. Now we select all the cells. Now we create a group, double click. Of course, it's called cell four because it's the last cell in which we selected, it's normal. Hit clear, and now in order to select the, uh, to change the fixture order, usually you would go edit times Select cell, uh, select the in a group, and go to fixture order. But as you will see, click, click, nothing happens, regardless if order increment is off or on. Well, if you switch it on, then it increments, but it doesn't change anything. This is a bug which is submitted. So what you could do is you go to edit terms, select the group, edit layout. And now you could say, well, easy thing, we want to change the second half so that it mirrors the first half. We select the second half, we move it somewhere. Um, now the easiest way is to adjust the angle. Angle is the third, uh, third wheel, we, here, angle zero, and now ups. Wrong move, wrong move, because uh, I have to change another th thing, another option. Oh, I could leave it like this. Um, I click on wheels rotate individual fixtures to wheels rotate selection. And now I can rotate the entire selection. Like so and move it there. And now crop grid. And that's it. And now if you want to confirm that this goes along with the fixture order. Fixture order is only the X position, so from left to right. That's why we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And in the bottom row, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, and so on. And um, because I have rotated the cells, I have exactly the res result I 
wanted to achieve. So close the window, go to edit times, cells, uh, cell and fixture order. And now you see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven until 12 and 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 and so on. Exactly what you wanted. Yeah, that's a little lesson on how to use fixture order in order to change now how to how to <laughs> edit group layout in order to change fixture order have fun <laughs>